Welcome back everybody. Today we're here to talk about two sneak peeks we got for The Walking Dead Season 9 Episode 15. Both of these sneak peeks are setting up the huge pike moment that's going to be happening most likely at the end of this episode. So we're going to break down these sneak peeks and talk about it in today's video. But before I do begin, if you are a fan of The Walking Dead, hit that subscribe button. But let's get started. So the first sneak peek is kind of like the continuation from that scene in the promo where Daryl and some of the people from the fair are leaving and they go meet Ozzy in the woods because Ozzy has discovered that some people have been taken by other people. And obviously they're referring to the whispers because he says it himself that the dead didn't do this uh, it was people and michonne asked him if uh you know he knows about the whispers and he's he kind of knows about them i think he says like you know we got the download you know strange ways people cope so he kind of knows what the whispers are um but he says it himself that you know anybody else out here his patrols would have seen them so obviously it has to be the whispers because they are very identical looking to walkers so that way you know he probably missed them and he thought it was just walkers but it ended up being people and they most likely took some people so when I said in the beginning of the video, it's kind of setting up the pike. I think throughout the episode, they're going to put like little moments of maybe people going missing until the end of the episode where they reveal the border. So the episode is going to definitely, you know, get increasingly more anticipating because, you know, it's going to, it looks like to have like also like a mystery aspect to it, which again is going to be really, really cool. As we can see in this scene that some characters are missing. It's also revealed that the characters that are missing are from the hilltop because Magna finds something on the floor that belongs to one of the hilltoppers. Now, we don't know exactly which characters they are, um, but, you know, based on my predictions, because I'm assuming the characters that are going to go missing throughout the episode most likely are going to be the ones that are going to get piked. But, you know, who knows? It could be. I don't see Tammy and Earl in because the, there's a lot of people here. Like, there's a lot of people who came to, you know, um, uh, look what's going on here. But, yeah, Tammy, Earl, Tara, possibly. We have, like, a lot of, like, kid, like those teenagers. It could be some of them. Those are, like, the characters I kind of see getting piked from Hilltop. Um, so, you know, I, I think it could be one of them that are missing. Also, Marco brings up a really good point. He says if those freaks, like, follow them from the Hilltop, the whole community can be in danger because... The Whispers look to be following a lot of people because at the end of episode 14, we saw them following the Alexandrians and that one Whisper was like, we need to tell Alpha. And then also in episode 10, when Magnus group, uh, they were in the woods looking for Luke, that one Whisper was behind the bushes just like looking at them. And that was way back in episode 10. So I'm bringing this up because it looks like the Whispers are always like watching these, these survivors and just super creepy. And they really never, you know, explored that Whisper that was watching Magnus group, which I'm glad they didn't because... It adds like a layer of fear to the whole show because, you know, the whispers um, blend in with the walkers just like Ozzy said here in the sneak peek that his people didn't notice anything because, you know, the whispers look like walkers. So they probably just thought it was a walker. So I just, you know, it's super creepy to think about how the whispers are always watching these people. After that, Daryl notices that they got dragged, which is a very important detail because it's not like a, you know, it's not like footsteps or anything. It looks like they legitimately got dragged, which potentially means they could be dead and they just kind of drag or at least like maybe you know they knocked them out or something and they drag their body so they can decapitate them and do the pike hole like that whole deal which i'm not i'm not sure if we're gonna actually see that aspect of it um i don't think we are i think you're gonna keep it with a mystery which is fine i, I actually think it'll be pretty i actually prefer it to be like a mystery you know slowly characters are missing and then at the end we see all the characters who were missing throughout the episode all you know lined up which is gonna be just crushing. Michonne then says we need to split up to go after them because Daryl says like if we all charge at them at once it's not a good idea and then Carol says um, Michonne and I will go with Daryl to track them because obviously Daryl's a good tracker and the rest of you go to Hilltop. So this scene kind of it cuts off there but this is a continuation for the next scene I think because in the next scene we have Carol, uh, Michonne, Daryl and some other people who went with them and they got basically trapped by the whispers and they got surrounded by them because for the sneak peek we got for the talking dead it opens up with them getting surrounded and it actually opens up specifically with this whisper right here which again is very interesting if you watch my breakdown for the trailer i noticed that this you know they put a lot of emphasis on this guy and once again they put him in the forefront of the whispers and that's the first whisper we see there has to be some meaning behind it and I think it may be the skin of a somebody from the hilltop or a survivor because that skin looks a lot different than all the other skins. And in the next shot, we have Yumiko who's really like kind of shocked at this whisper. So maybe she recognizes whoever this is. But I mean, not fully recognizes because obviously it's very hard to tell. But 
um you know with the long hair i was thinking maybe it could be luke or it could be jerry or ozzy because ozzy does have that long hair but ozzy was in the previous scene so i don't think it's him and then we have a bunch of whispers coming up from behind this uh, this main whisper standing here and this is a perfect shot because look at all these other whispers their faces look so much different than this one like this one looks pretty fresh like it doesn't look super decayed or anything which means it could be like a fresh you know skin a, fi a fresh face you know essentially from somebody from hilltop or alexandria or the kingdom and then we have the group and i love this camera work you're doing like they're circling around the group and we see whispers coming up from all around them so this definitely kind of reminds me of episode 16 of season 6 when you know they were in the woods trying to escort maggie to the hilltop and then like all the lights came on and they were surrounded by saviors like i remember how intense that scene was and this scene is definitely reminding me of that and then this whisper uh, puts up the gun and again a lot of emphasis on this whisper and again this is I was talking about a perfect shot from before look at this shot we have this whisper on the right whose face is super decayed and then we have this one who looks to like it looks like it's starting to decay and this looks like a much more fresh face than the other one and you know it would be really messed up if the whispers like skin the faces of those who they be had I don't think they're gonna do that though because I feel like it's gonna hit harder with fans when we see the actual face of the character but man i mean it makes sense though because you know the skin of people in walkers they kind of basically save their life and this one could be like a skin of somebody who's slowly you know started starting to um you know decay but i don't know that's why i kind of bring it up because there's something up with this whisper you know because of the emphasis on the trailers and promos and then also you know the skin is super different than everybody else's and then as we have all the whispers kind of surrounding them we have beta approaching them and you know he tells them to drop their weapons we did see a little bit of you know the sequence from this scene in the promo we got for episode 15 and we know alpha is also gonna be there um and i believe uh, you know beta also said something very interesting he says like no more people has to die so i think beta is gonna be very straightforward with them and be like yeah, we killed your people. You know, you, you guys messed with us. You came into our territory. You, you, you know, you led walkers into our camp, killed our people. So, yeah, we, we killed your people. And, you know, now you have to stop. You can't come into our territory anymore or we're going to keep killing more people. Because in that promo, we had Daryl kind of, you know, turning around and nodding to, um, you know, his group. So I feel like he's kind of be like, you know what? We are pinned. We have nothing. You know, we can't do anything. We're going to die if we don't accept their rules. And I feel like he's going to have no choice but to be like, okay, you know what? We're not going to mess with you guys anymore. And then they're going to let him go to discover, you know, the border. We also see a lot of bodies surrounding them. And I think it would be pretty interesting. It is really dark, so I can't tell. Um, and we can't see all the heads. But I think it would be pretty interesting if we have some, like, like some walker without heads on there. Like, we don't know whose it is, but... You know, just like little subtle things that, you know, we have like maybe a walker there or a body without a head and, you know, maybe somebody's looking at it like, what the fuck is that? And I think, I really hope because it looks to be a very mysterious episode also and, you know, I mean, mysterious, action-packed, happy because of the fair. Like, everybody's going to be, you know, pretty happy in the beginning, having a good time. And then as the episode goes on, you know, bad things are going to happen until that final, you know, that climax of the episode where they see that border, which is going to be crazy. And also, going back to the other sneak peek we had, I did find something very interesting here because... This is a big ass group. This is like a tip. This is bigger than your typical group who who's gonna go out and look for somebody missing, right? This is like a really big group, and you know um, they do split up like Michelle and Seth, and I feel like that split up is gonna come back and bite them in the ass because I do think that maybe some of these people who's like I feel like this group that's gonna run into the whispers here, like Beta and Alpha on them. I feel like this group is gonna be okay because they're just gonna like warn them and threaten them, and they're gonna let them go because they are surrounded. But we all know Daryl and Carol. Or Michonne, they're not gonna die here, so they're gonna probably let him go after they accept their rules. But the other group who this who um you know went on their own to the hilltop, who you know fought, who's trying to look for who's missing, that group I think could be in some serious danger because the group that got approached by Beta and the Whispers that's a very small group. Like in the sneak peek, Carol said Michonne and I will go with Daryl and track them. The rest of you go to the hilltop, and I also think Yumiko went with them. But other than that, there's only four people there. And that other group that went to go look for the missing hilltoppers um, towards the hilltop, they have like at least 10 people in that group because that was a lot of people. So I think it's, it's a huge possibility of a lot of those people getting piked because um, I'm going to be honest, some of the weaker characters went there. Like, no offense, but there was definitely some of the weaker characters who went there. I don't know why. I don't know why Carol, Daryl, and Michonne will all go together and then everybody else will go on their own. Like, I feel like they would send at least one of them with the other group. I don't know. Not a big deal, but 
I do think that other group that went towards the hilltop, that group has a huge possibility of, you know, a lot of them could, you know, get piked. But those were the two sneak peeks we got for The Walking Dead Season 9, Episode 15. If we get any more sneak peeks, I will definitely be making a video about it, so be sure to stay tuned for that. As far as this video goes, I am going to wrap it up there. Be sure to leave all your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating. And for more Walking Dead content just like this, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys later.